Hey family, welcome to another segment of What's Your Issue with myself, Bernice. And Onisha. And today we have a very interesting topic for y'all. Yes. So guys, I've been watching some TV shows. And I don't like know. What? Um, so I've recently got uh, interested in P-Valley. I know I'm like three seasons behind. Whatever, not important. And this was what inspired this topic. So if you guys haven't watched that, you should probably check it out. It's a really good show. Okay. So... On the show, one of the character um, is being sponsored by this married man. Um, and so what that looks like is he pays for her apartment, he gives her uh, some money, and sex is ex expected naturally. in this arrangement. So my question, naturally. <laughs> or not, right, Nisha? Well, sex is expected, right? Mm -hmm. So I guess naturally. Um, so my, sec my question now is, is this a form of prostitution? Um, so essentially, it's called a sponsorship or in, mm. the, in how it was framed on the show. And so I wondered, is this a form of prostitution? I don't think so. Like, me Explain. Okay, I think being an open-minded person, of course, about a few years ago, I would have been like, yes, that is. But in respecting how people choose to live nowadays, to me, it's like if they have a, an agreement mm. and that's what works for them and they're mm. both consenting adults, hey, mm. if she has to give him a few, you know, cut him some front just so that everything else is okay and he's good with that, well, what's wrong with that? I don't what's your take? I See, this is the thing. <laughs> Every time tricky. you do that, I'm like, Nisha's gonna go to. Okay, let's hear your take. Give me your perspective, Nisha. It's. Uh, uh, okay, outside of the context of this show, because mm -hmm. this show is about like, um, is built around like a strip club, right? So, outside mm -hmm. of the context of the show, I mean, in a way, I, I do. I don't know. Why are you I'm struggling with it? Though? Because, because, like, when we think about prostitution, like sex work, right? Mm -hmm, like, you know, prostitution mm -hmm. is the old way of saying mm -hmm. these things. Um, but when we think of sex work, mm -hmm. it's like you do, you have sex and you get paid. Yeah. But this arrangement, yeah. how I explain it, was more than just sex. Mm -hmm. But sex is a big part of this it, arrangement. Yeah. And so in some ways, I do think it is. I think the fact that... Um, she has this person, mm -hmm. this man, who um, pays her bills, provides her money. Okay. Specifically because she provides sex as part of the arrangement. Can, let me, is, how, how did they connect though? Give us a little he bit. He met her in a strip club. Oh, he met her in a strip yeah. club. He liked her. Girl, he, and he liked something. Obviously, he liked whatever. He, he, she provides an experience. Yes. And he likes that experience. He wants that experience. It, it's a part of his life now. Mm -hmm. And it's important to him. That he and, has this and experience. And so he suggested this arrangement. Mm -hmm. And I think in, when he first suggested it, she refused mm -hmm. because she had other goals and she yeah. didn't want to be in this environment. But mm -hmm. things have changed. You get setbacks and she recognizes that this is a way to move forward. forward. Yeah. And so she has accepted this arrangement now. And in accepting this arrangement, this is where the question lies. Yeah. Is she essentially providing sex for money? And I think like... Yes, okay, if we're going to be real, yes, there is the exchange of sex for that lifestyle. However, they are both in agreement with it. She doesn't see anything wrong with it. He doesn't see anything wrong with it. They're both mature consenting adults. On top of it too, Nisha, like, lifestyles change. Right. And the fact that, okay, yo, okay, he met her in a strip club, da 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 all of that stuff. These kind of exchanges go on in actual life. You know what I mean? Right, but okay, so this so, is why I'm asking, I'm taking it away from the actual show, mm -hmm. and I'm asking no, in general, I, I, if I you are in so. this type of arrangement, I don't, I not necessarily, because I, we have moved away from. I know for me personally, I have right. moved away from a certain way of thinking back then. Like back then, yeah, it's like, hey, if you're okay to pay for certain things and we both as adults know and understand right. that naturally that is going to be the exchange you're okay with it i'm okay with it right. we have to live our lives like you can't continue to be in this mindset like if it was being imposed upon her right. she's then, not being exploited it's uh, a no choice. then it's a choice she's, she's not, not being exploited they both have the understanding that you know what this is my lifestyle and this is what I can provide for you. And in providing these services, you have to pay. 
Hmm. It's you know what I'm trying to say. I, it's the same way, Nisha. <laughs> I'm getting up and going to work. Mm. I get up, I go to work with the exchange of knowing that I'm going You're to get money. paid. Right. You know what I mean? So if that is the way that she has found to sustain herself and take care of herself right. and he's okay with it, she's okay and it's consenting. Right. For me, oh well. Let but them would do it be I'm, okay, so but would you consider that to be like sex work? Would it be prostitution? No, Nisha. I think what what would be what is the difference for you um with somebody who within that same circumstance provide sex for money what is the difference i think for me like i don't see any so far as listen this is a service i provide you if you're coming okay so let's just say if i was a prostitute right nisha the person coming to me i you and i both have the understanding there's going to be an exchange for something yeah that's the job I yeah that's it. the nature of the job right. so regardless so you pay me money and yeah, i have sex with exactly you. and in but this case okay, okay yes although yes it is similar however this is what she i guess my thing is this is what she wants to do this is her life i'm not gonna sit here and be like well she's doing um what's it called because she's providing these services it's prostitution who cares if that's what she wants to do for me live your life you know what i'm trying to say so for me i guess i don't really see like a big deal either way i don't i don't care about the nature of the work in mm. itself like i don't I don't care about what people choose to do, but I think like if you are having sex with somebody for money, yeah, it's, it's sex work. And that's, and that's what, that's what it, for me, that's what it comes down to, right? Yeah, it's that's like, for you. I, it's, that's really what it comes down to. So I, while I can understand the context of what brings her here, mm -hmm. like her life choices and whatever, but ultimately, if you, if, if ultimately, if she did not need this money, would she still be having sex with this man? Uh, probably not, but she would find other ways of making yeah, money. So, so, so I guess she's my giving point up the money is, for the sex. But just because she's having, I guess, I guess maybe now my struggle is, let me just, talk, regardless, talk, talk I think struggle. for me, Nisha, for me, regardless, we all have to do something for, for money. the money. She happens to, in her case, have found a gentleman who's willing to take care okay. of everything <laughs> and say, all I want from you is a little, you know, front here and there. So I guess for me and me analyzing it, like if I couldn't work the job that I work, you'd find another job. I'll find this. another way. And if it meant, hey, like found somebody that was willing to support whatever, then that's the means that I'm going to take to provide and support myself. So whether you label it sex work, me labeling it whatever, I just feel like, hey, she's doing what she has to do to survive. Um, okay. It is what it is. And, and I don't disagree, right? Like, I mean, people will make the choices that are best for them. I do think alternatively, because... In the case of the, the TV show. If we want to get technical. Um, Nisha just wants to get technical. Well, well you know. Let's get technical, Nisha. Because we let's, can't speak in general. Because okay, let's get technical. Yes, you know? it would be In the case of the TV show, where she actually likes this man. Mm -hmm. She knows that he's married. Mm -hmm. She wants his wife to Neutral. consent on it. Neutral understanding. Right? And, and I... It seems like she does like him mm -hmm. and she has respect for him. Mm -hmm. But this particular character was was offered this this arrangement before and refused. And I do think that she was offered it before with another different with person. the same person. Oh, and she were refused initially. She refused. So what made her decide to well, go on the offer? She she had her plans um, are to stop stripping okay um and she had some money mm -hmm. she bought a business she mm -hmm. has goals to teach mm -hmm. um dancing mm -hmm. and then like stuff happened bad mm -hmm. things happened yeah and now she she's still stripping mm -hmm. she's making less money than she made in the past and she found so now somebody she's, he has always been there but now what is different is now she's desperate before she had she was hopeful now she's a lot less hopeful yeah and so with all that understanding, and I and I and I don't even remember if 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 the idea of her selling her body or or, or prostituting came up or mm -hmm. that was part of the dialogue she had, but I felt like, but it seems like, you know, she aligned it with that. If she is sleeping with him for him to provide money and these comforts, she aligns herself as a prostitute. And that's what she isn't. She says she's a dancer. She doesn't have sex with the men she dances with. And so this is what prompted the question: mm -hmm. is she is 
her, they label it as a sponsorship. Mm-hmm. And so that's what it looks like, right? Mm-hmm. This man providing her, paying for her, her an apartment, yeah. giving her money, yeah. um, and sex is expected. That yeah. is the requirement yeah. of the intent. Yeah. So, so this is where the question comes from. With all that, and this is why I say, specifically as it relates to the character, from my perspective, it would be. Because... If she had another choice, she would not. She have would not. Yeah, this, definitely, definitely. Right? And I agree and I'm, with you. And there. I'm not. And I'm not. This yeah, opinion right. isn't to say like other women who've made this decision, regardless of their circumstances, are they sex workers? No. No, and I don't think they are. No. But is that the act? Is it? Is, are you prostituting? Are you prostituting yourself because you allow a man to pay for your 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 necess- life necessities so you can, and, and you provide him with sex in return? Right? Like, I guess basically that's what it comes down to. Yeah, but I, I hear you and no. Yes and no. For some people, for me, it's no. Okay, so the definition of prostitution, right? Like, is the practice or occupation of engaging in sexual activity with someone for payment. Mm-hmm. And so, now, I mean, we can't have, we can't really answer the question without having clarity on what prostitution is. is. Yeah, true. Right? And so... Having that definition, does that change your opinion in any way? Are you swayed one way or another, Bernice? Yes, in the technical sense, based off of your <laughs> definition. Not mine, baby. I'm not Based Western. off of the general <laughs> definition, I rest my case. However, if we're taking other things into consideration, I would say no. Mm. Well, uh, you know where my stance is. I'm yeah. not, and, no, because I do feel like... <laughs> Yo, Nisha and I are about to, like, to have a double face. <laughs> Listen, I do feel like... Because it's a complex issue. It is a complex issue. And you know, a lot of times, right. like... You're like, right. Being labeled as a right. prostitute has such negative connotation. Yeah. Right? And people do what they need to do. And sometimes, the only re- resource you have is your body. And yeah. you have to use that to get however you want to get. But, yeah. we, but the label exists. It does. It right? Really does. And it comes with a, f- a lot of judgment. Yeah. And nobody wants to be judged based on a decision <laughs> they had to make when they had no other or tra- options, choice options yeah. or very limited or poor options. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Um, but so that's why it's so complex, right? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's easy to say like what a thing is or isn't when you don't have to make those choices. Yeah. Right? When you feel like, when you know that you, you have alternatives. But when you're in the situation and all you have is all you have, it is what it is. It is. And it's, I agree with you, Nish. Completely. Um, anyway, so is there anything else you want to add to this? I just think that it's a very interesting topic and it was very complex. Right. Um, and I'm glad that we talked about it. I just want to hear what our audiences, right, you yeah. know, what they have to contribute to it because it's not so black and white like right. as we make it in society. I, right, right. So, know? guys, is sponsorship in, that co- in the context of how I described it a form of prostitution? Let us know. Yes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll talk to you, family, later. Bye.